Hello Rangers and welcome to Ranger Ruby YouTube channel. In today's video I'll be going over 10 fun facts about Fort Vancouver National Historic Site. Let's go ahead and dive right on in. Fact number one, Fort Vancouver National Historic Site is the only National Historic Site located in the great state of Oregon although there are parts of it also in the great state of Washington. Fact number two, located on the north bank of the Columbia River, inside of snowy mountain peaks and a vibrant urban landscape, this park has a rich cultural past. From a frontier fur trading post to a powerful military legacy, the magic of the flight and the origin of the American Pacific Northwest, history is shared at four unique sites within this unit. Fact number three, from 1825 to 1849, Fort Vancouver was the site of the Hudson's Bay Company's administrative headquarters and supply depot of the West Rocky Mountains. As a result, the Hudson Bay Companies greatly influenced the economic, political, and cultural development of the Pacific Northwest. Fact number four, the Fort Vancouver was the first terminus of the Oregon Trail. Fact number five, the Vancouver Barracks, established in 1849, was the first military post developed in the Pacific Northwest. It served as the headquarters for the U.S. Army operations into the 20th century. Fact number six, although it may look like a typical frontier U.S. Army fort, Fort Vancouver was originally a British commercial enterprise and built and managed by the Hudson's Bay Company as its headquarters and supply depot for its operations in the Pacific Northwest. The reconstructed fort that you can visit today is a representative of the HBC fur trade era. However, after the U.S. Army arrived in 1849 and established a post just to the north of Hudson Bay's company's fort, they also called their military post Fort Vancouver for several years, from 1853 to 1879. Fact number seven, Fort Vancouver National Monument was established on June 19th, 1948 to quote, preserve as a national monument at the site of the original Hudson Bay's stockade of Fort Vancouver and sufficient surrounding land to preserve the historical features of this area and for the benefit of the United States people. Fact number eight, historically, the location of the Hudson Bay's company's Fort Vancouver was an important place to connect with nature. The indigenous Klickitat people called this location Alasakas, which translates to place of the mud turtles. Another tribe in a different language called it something which translated to place of the turtles. This area located along the northern bank of the Columbia River and home to a large pond which has since been filled in and must have been home to one of the Northwest's two native turtle species, the Western Pond Turtle and or the Western Painted Pond Turtle. Fact number nine, Dr. John McLaughlin was a trained physician who served as the chief factor of the Hudson Bay's company's Fort Vancouver from 1825 to 1845. There he was responsible for overseeing a vast fur trading operation that stretched from Northern California all the way to Alaska. McLaughlin also provided assistance to exhausted, starving American immigrants arriving at Vancouver from the Oregon Trail. Fact number 10, Fort Vancouver National Historic Site contains extensive archeological research both in situ, the original location, and recovered, that provide information about the physical relationships and cultural and economic operation of the Hudson Bay's company and the U.S. Army. Well, everybody, that's the... Well, everybody, that's the end in today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below with your thoughts. I'd love to hear from you. Also, be sure to click that red subscribe button and the little bell next to it to always know when I post new videos. Thank you so much for watching again, and I'll see you next video. Bye!